Midwest figure, he's got the eye-finding gems Where most would pass by with a net for spotting what's unique He's the coolest picker on YouTube Hey, welcome to the Midwest Picker YouTube channel. My name is Dave. I'm a part-time YouTube content creator, part-time reseller on eBay, sometimes Facebook Marketplace, but online basically. I buy stuff and I flip it. Usually source stuff from like auctions, estate sales, flea markets, and sell it for a profit. So it's kind of like a little sideline, a little part-time business. Even though I work full-time as an RN, I do this on the weekends and part-time and I make pretty good money doing it. In this video, I'm gonna tell you what I paid for the item and what it sold for. The reason we do these videos, so you don't source the wrong items, you don't pay too much for them, and it gives you an idea of what you can expect for them to sell for. Kind of a ballpark idea of what you can get for your item. Now you see that empty spot above my TV there, up on the wall? Well, I have a plan for that empty spot. I'm really excited to tell you about it. There's an expo coming to my town. It's called the Oddities and Curiosities Expo, and they travel all over the country, and they're coming to Grand Rapids, Michigan, not too far from me. And on April 1st, I'm going with my oldest daughter, Amber. We got tickets, and we're super excited because this expo basically caters to people like me. I like kind of like the weird, the unusual, the strange. Now, I did go online on YouTube, and I took some screenshots of past oddities and curiosities expo items so i'm going to show you some pictures of items i hope to find like uh this guy here <laughs> really cool this one here i just love the two raccoons in the canoe they do possums lots of taxidermy ethically uh, collected from like roadkill or animals that die of natural causes but unfortunately, the really cool stuff that I like is four to $500, so I don't know what I'm gonna get, but I'm gonna get something really bizarre, strange, that you just can't find anywhere else, and it's going in that empty spot right above my TV. Here are a few, like seven or eight second clips from past oddities and curiosities expos. Amy's abominations. What, uh, what beautiful little uh, abominations they are. Check this out. You can actually get your own head put in a jar for ghoulish mortals. Are we having lift off? Oh no, there we go. Oh my gosh. Watch out. Soul perchers. Looks like they have some amazing crypto taxidermy. I like the rabbit riding a chicken right there oh also a little duck riding a horse monster oh i like this it's like this evil bird with a child under its cloak i like to thank jacob from the youtube channel the carpet bagger um, he's got a fantastic channel he's approaching a half a million subscribers he's a really cool guy i'm going to link his channel down below he tours the nation going to museums expos just all kinds of cool stuff and he's been to a lot of these oddities expos so if you want to get a really good idea what they're like check out his youtube channel give him a sub and check out those videos all right, let's get started. This first item I dug out of the garage. I packed up a lot of unlisted eBay items and they've been sitting in my garage for a year and a half and I found these, so I dug them out. These are red plates and I'm gonna butcher the name. It's from West Germany, which doesn't exist anymore. Wachterbach, yeah, you can correct me in the comments if you want. Two salad, or one salad plate, two dinner plates, listed for $39.95, took a best offer of $30. I don't remember the cost, I'm going to guess about $6. Next is this really cute Fenton solid glass cat. I sourced this from my cousin for five bucks, um, listed for $39.95. Uh, I sent an offer of $30 and they accepted. Next item was a dumb purchase at an estate sale. I thought Mrs. Midwest would really like this, that's why I bought it, but she didn't want it, so I put it on eBay. I per this cost me $30. Uh, it sold for $55.95. I barely made a profit on this one. You know, what are you going to do? I kind of bought it for myself or for her, but we really didn't want it, so I just sold it on eBay. Basically broke even, got my money back. 
Next is the second Fenton cat figurine. Different customer I checked, but these sold like two days apart. Awesome. Sourced again from my cousin for $5. Same list price, uh, $39.95. Uh, and they sent an offer of $30 and I took it. Next is this uh, lot of California raisins. If you're fairly young, 30 and under, you might not know what these are, but these were very popular back in the day. Um, they were used for commercials initially to promote California raisins, but it just kind of spun out into toys and merchandising and crazy stuff. Source these from Mr. Buys a Lot YouTube auction. Uh, my cost of goods was $6, and these sold for $19.95. Next is this really cool lot of ephemera Santa themed gift cards and a Christmas card. Again, source these from Mr. Buys a Lot uh, YouTube auction, $2.73. These are really old. Listed for $25.95. I accepted an offer of $20. Definitely would buy these again. Really vintage old postcards, uh, gift cards, and I think I said Christmas cards. These are like gift tag cards, really small. Nobody kept those. Those things got tossed in the trash, so they're very hard to find. Next is this vintage New York City ballet program. I think it's from 1982. Again, sourced from Mr. Buys a Lot. Uh, cost of goods, 91 cents, and listed for 1995. Sold, oh no, I'm sorry. Took a best offer of $15 plus shipping on top, gone. And last are these little Noritake saucers. This is just crazy purchase. These do have value, but these suckers took three years to sell. Um, I forget what I had them listed for. I think $8.95 a piece with a volume discount. Somebody sent me an offer of $7 each if they bought four, so I accepted. Um, yeah, these are very long. Also, I have a semi-viral video. I think it's called Noritake 101, where I explain how to uh, date Noritake based on the maker's mark stamped on the bottom back of these plates and cups and uh, gravy boats and whatever they make. Uh, they've been making them for uh, almost 200 years. So I'll link the video down below if you're interested. It's got, I don't know, over a thousand views. And I go over all the different maker's marks because some of them aren't easy to tell. It doesn't say N or Noritake. They have like these cryptic symbols or, or cherry blossoms and stuff like that. So if you're out sourcing and you go to a flea market in a state sale and you flip a plate over, it might not say Noritake. It might just be a cherry blossom and a few words and that's it. And you won't know it's Noritake. But if you watch that video I linked down below, it'll help you identify all of those crazy maker's marks. So that's the video guys, short and sweet. I'm definitely gonna make a video when I go to that expo of oddities and curiosities. I'm gonna do crazy stuff, look at crazy stuff, buy something crazy. I'll be there with my daughter. I'll make video, she'll make video, and I'll post that after April 1st, probably around April 5th. So keep an eye out for that. If you have any questions, please put them down in the comments. Hit that thumbs up button. It really helps with the YouTube algorithm. And then if you're new, welcome. I have new subscribers every week. So this is a typical video. Video, what sold on eBay video. I'm going to do sourcing videos uh, when the weather gets better. We got about eight inches of snow yesterday, so winter is not over, but spring is right around the corner. I'm also going to be doing some metal detecting videos, hunting for treasure. I'm going to take you guys along with me on that. So that's it, guys. Until the next video, see ya. Midwest Picker East got the eye finding gems where most would pass by with a net for spotting what's unique. He's the coolest picker on YouTube.